everybody. Welcome to the longest night aqua lounge of the year, probably. Well, most certainly of the year, considering when we started, but closest to solstice, I should say. Looking a little cozy tonight, and that's because I am. Child of the dinosaur. This reminds me so much of um, Parasite Eve's intro. Complete with the weird little floating text. What are dolphins? We just don't know. That one got a good, good, um, good yawn. Me too, Dolphin. Me too. Um, anywho, this is Blue, Legend of Water. And this is Aqua Lounge number seven. Thank you all for joining me on this long night. Yes, there are no rats um, in Blue, Legend of Water. I hope not, because then they'd be a drowned rat, and we don't want that. But, um, yeah. Playlist, um... Menu, whatever you call it tonight, if you will. A little bit more on the gloomy and chill side. Because A, I'm feeling pretty tired after the holidays. I just, I did want to get one more Aqua Lounge in before the year was up. And uh, two, because, again, like I mentioned, this is probably the Aqua Lounge on one of the longest nights yet since I've been streaming because we're so close to the solstice. So, a little bit chill tonight. We're going to start with this odd game that is playable in English for the first time. Blue, Legend of Water. Brought to us... Let me get the name here. Brought to us by... Hilltop Works. The same translation group. Responsible for Racing Lagoon. The uh, era of PS1 Miracle Translation patches continues, and with that said, let's jump on in. I know very little about this game. そこでは父さんたちの調査チームがムータイ陸の遺跡発掘をやっていて私はその歴史的な発掘現場を見せてもらうのでもそこにはもっと大切な何かがあるような気がする昔から見る不思議な夢その中で私を呼ぶ声来
crash. You never know. Oh, excellent. You must be tuckered out. Oh, those um, low-resolution PS1 fonts. That is not what I thought that said. I like the character portraits in this. Also, the pre-rendered backgrounds in this are nice, too, because something about how they're rendered out meshes pretty well with the models. It doesn't look awkward. We'll see if we can't get to some, uh... Let's see. 
you okay, bud? You were under that meatball for a long time. I got a little distracted. Ah, tail. so far, so it's kind of like, um, instead of a boy and his blob, it's um, a girl and her dolphin. Oh, okay, now that we're above on uh, land, there's a uh, cursor-style interface. Interesting. Well, it makes sense. You gotta make the best use you can out of the pre-rendered backgrounds. Thank you. Best boy, 481, for the follow. Oh, I love this menu. This reminds me a little bit of uh, the silver case, for some reason. Even though it doesn't look that much like the silver case. Yeah, interesting. I really, yeah, I dig the navigation in this. Although it's not always necessarily clear where um, the arrows are pointing. Like when I press left and... But I'm pressing left and right and it's kind of operating strangely. But um, still pretty cool. Let's go to the med bay. I think our friend's going to be in there. <laughs> Thank you, d for uh, the tag. Uh, oh, oh, our friend is okay, okay. So he's not in the med bay. Palafin. The year of the dolphin, clearly. What do y'all think about Sword and Shield, Chet? You been playing it? Yeah, probably gotta talk to our dad. It's probably true. Somewhere around here. I don't know anybody's name yet. Is he on the bridge? Not on the bridge. Yeah, we just saw a man almost drown under a giant meatball. Actions above ground? We do. We have uh, op oh, we have items options. Okay. Oh yeah. I did mean Scarlet and Violet. You know. It starts with an S. Yeah, what do you think of Scarlet and Violet, Chip? That's what I meant. I've only watched like what? Fifty hours of it be played. I should know the name of the game by now. Well, Folks aren't going to speak up about what they think. I might speak up about what I think. I have a theory about Scarlet and Violet. I have a theory about both Scarlet and Violet and um, Pokemon Legends Arceus, actually. So, I don't think I have a use button. What the heck is this room? That's a great question. But I have a theory about both Legends Arceus and Scarlet and Violet, and that theory is that... And this has uh, actually been uh, reconfirmed recently. Uh, let me actually... Uh, see if I can talk to this person yet. How's going on? I 
I am digging this music. Oh yes, uh, building suspense up with my, my theory. Um, this was actually reconfirmed recently, um, in some, um, leaks or documents or what, what have you. Um, I have a theory that, that rumored Switch Pro model, um, that was talked about for years and years and years and, uh, never came to manifest. I have a theory that was true, that that was real, and that Pokemon Legends, that may be Pokemon Legends, but very certain, or no, no, um, yeah, only Pokemon Legends Arceus, because by the time Scarlet and Violet entered full production, it probably would have already been scrapped, but at least Pokemon Legends was in development for it. Oh, thank you, crew, crew of Ravens, for following. Um, oh, I can go in. Okay. Yeah, I have a theory that the Switch Pro was real, and that Pokemon Legends was in development for it, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was intended to run on it. And, um, yeah, Nemo is an oddly fitting name for this bot. Oh god, I need a mod bot on this channel. So many things to do. Go away, bot. That's right. Anywho, I keep rambling onto this topic and get distracted by other things, so I'm just going to make myself brief. I have a theory that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet run so poorly on the base Switch because they were never intended to run on the base Switch. I think they were intended to run on a more powerful Switch that didn't come out. I think the Switch OLED was made because Nintendo had already ordered a bunch of OLED panels for this model. And had the order and needed to do something with it. I bet if a Switch 2 comes out, which it probably will... I bet it'll use that screen or something like it, because it does seem pretty nice. Um, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for Nintendo to produce a new SKU unless they had to. Yeah, um, I totally agree with you, um, uh, Machord. Um, I think that um, the Switch is really long in the tooth hardware-wise, and um, I bet a second one is in production. I think Nintendo wanted to get an intermediate model out sooner, a la the PS4 Pro. And I bet that due to component problems and the shape of the economy during COVID, they eased off. I have a feeling that Game Freak got stuck in a crappy situation because of that. Um, I bet Legends Arceus was supposed to run on that Switch Pro that we didn't get. Because remember, Scarlet and Violet looks rough, but Legends Arceus looks rough. <laughs> it looks mega rough. Um, I think Scarlet and Violet performs probably worse than Legends RCS on the whole, because it's trying to do so much, much more stuff, but I think Scarlet and Violet looks better visually than Legends did. So I have a feeling that Legends was made to try to build a new tool chain for the new hardware to expedite development of Scarlet and Violet, but then some of the dev time they had set out for Scarlet and Violet probably got used desperately trying to optimize it to run on the base SKU. Um, and, um, that's my theory about why Scarlet and Violet came out in the shape it did. Does anyone read a Steam Deck thing that lets you use as a bottom screen for DS emulation? I actually was talking about that. You can use the Steam Deck for Wii U emulation. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's find my dad. All I've been able to do is find a bunch of empty rooms so far. Dining hall, but not in the bio lab, not in the dining hall. Halbert's room, that's our dad. Or I guess it's Halbert? Is Halbert hiding in the cabinet? <laughs> Damn. Disrespect. I would not use those words to describe my father if I were on his sea base. Oh, I see. She's just supporting her old man. Well, I do want to go in the water at least one more time before I change games, so...
There we go, we got somebody. How long until they make glasses that makes the world look like a pre-rendered background? Um, actually, that's what these are. Uh, that's why I wear them. Astrogeology. What a dream job. <laughs> it's true. I do like how extra everybody's name is in this game. Good. Not the bio lab. What about the heliport? Hey, it's Big Shell. I'm finding my dad. I have checked just about every open room on this entire place. Reference room? Nope. This game is blue. Legend of Water. It is not Automaton Lung. Not to flex too much, but you can see the name of the game in the lower left of the screen at all times when the overlay is open. idea where my dad is. I've been on the diving deck. He's not there. Kadachi's room is locked. He's not in the med bay. Let's talk to this person in the med bay. Observation deck? God. Well, I might have to give up on this because I think I've been to just about every open room and I can't find my dad. Hey, Thu. Yeah, web, web Twitter has been chugging hard for me lately. It's, uh, it's been rough. Been to the bio lab. Anyone on the heliport yet? Nope. Been to the heliport, been to the bio lab, been to Albert's room, been to the monitor room, been to the bridge. Can't go to Kadachi's room, been to the diving deck. Can't go there, can't go there. I can go to Maya's room. Okay. I do. We. Boot Maya's notebook. Oh, we got some, uh, we got some juicy dolphin lore coming. 
I just want more dolphins. This game is rather fr- Oh! Oh, yes. Why doesn't my computer look like this? Play puzzle. Partner information. Extra bonus. Cannot click extra bonus. I don't have any stones. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> That's right. Nothing. That's what Windows should say whenever you have an empty folder. Let's play a puzzle. Puzzle one. This reminds me of a game that I can't run because I don't own it. I own the hardware to play it, but I don't own the game. It's called, uh, it's called Melon Brains. I'll look it up. What's well, one of these? I love this music. Yeah. This music's fantastic. I love that laptop. It's so good. Why do Japanese games always use such better typefaces than Western? Um, I think... Yes, it is laser active. Um, I've been hoping to keep this a little bit of a secret. But I do own the CLD A100 Pioneer Laser Active Player, as well as the Sega module required for operation. <laughs> yeah, higher resolutions lead to, I would say, more. I wouldn't say higher resolutions. I would say it, dynamic resolutions lead to more limited use of typeface. That's one of the big reasons why um, typeface usage has gotten a little bit more uh, constrained than modern, modern UI design in general. It's kind of like an evolving needs thing. That, and in a lot of cases, um, readability and usability is um, prioritized. Uh, you know, forget this. I'm going to the water. Let's go in the ocean. My father is absent, but my dolphin is here for me. Yeah, it kind of does look like pre-time skip Nami. Let's do some swimming. All right, now he's he's on the he's on the search, he's on the hunt. Okay, so I got my air meter. Oh, that's, that's an important item. This stone. There's an arrow pointing right. Alright. Well. There's the meatball. Just been relocated. Do you surface for air? Yes, you do. Me and my bud. Um, this controls decently. C chart back on base. All right. Oh my gosh! Look at the. No, no let's go back. Back, back. With a little pause. It's a little dolphin. It's extremely cute. Um, this does control pretty well. Um, it's not analog. As most PlayStation 1 games are not.
I've discovered, or all the cool ones, are not analog. The, the DualShock came out pretty late. The uh, PS1's lifespan, so it makes sense that a lot of games don't support it. The analog joystick, I don't know what that is. Um, but, um, yeah, most PS1 games are locked to the standard pad. Uh, yeah, Ape Escape was actually a game partially made to demo the DualShock. I got something in the Discord. Watching Billy Alvarez. Oh, <laughs> well, I appreciate, um, Cory Bot. I do, I do appreciate your, um, your grabs of the dolphins. Um, let's see if I can go through the VOD later and clip them. Yes, it was a flagship title for the DualShock. So, I have to find a sea chart in order to go swimming again. Now, where's the sea chart going to be? I love swimming. I am starting to get a little annoyed by navigating this place. In the reference room, perhaps? Is there a C chart? No. There is not a C chart. The observation deck? Do you have a C chart? No. I think the reference room would have reference. Maybe the computer hall? Well, if I end up doing this for another five minutes, I'm going to change games because I've spent a, a fair deal of time on this. A, a vacant room that is locked. Is it in my room? I don't think so. Well, I am thoroughly baffled. Um, I do not have any items. That's right. <laughs> the dolphin comes out of the water and says, Father, when can I leave to be on my own? Well... I think this might be it for, um, this might be it for Blue Legend of Water. Didn't get to do a whole lot, which I'm a little sad about, but I just can't figure out how to progress. Well, you know, it's a PS1 adventure game. That's, um, uh, not that unusual, I suppose. Do I ask about, um, do I have to just talk to the right person? Yeah, we did vibe with the sea base, and that was that was it, more or less. I'm gonna try just a couple more minutes to get to find on the bridge. Options. Kodachi's room's closed. 
Maya's room has the computer. Did I miss something on the computer? Oh, uh, no, the workroom's still locked. Ed Bay doesn't have it. Vacant room, computer hall, reference room, file room. Yeah, well, my quest to find my dad has failed. Oh, file room. I just joined this hyperpop uh, test device. I cannot make out what you're trying to say. Hyperpop artist Glive, this video game. not in the file room. It's not in the computer hall. Is it on Maya's computer? Oh, I see. Boot Maya's notebook. Let's see. Is it on Maya's computer? Did I miss that somewhere? By the way, chat, if I'm missing something obvious, by all means, partner information. No, that's just a guide. Oh, I love that little blackboard, though. I don't have any stones. Do not have any stones, so it's not on the laptop. I'm pretty stumped. I feel like it'd be in the reference room, but you already checked there, I'm as clueless as you. I'll go back to the reference room one more time, and if I can't figure it out, I'm just gonna quit. Just too bad, because this game is fun, but, um... And I'm enjoying the atmosphere. Music. It is. The aesthetic of this game is very good. Oh. Oh, did I, um... Interesting. I see. So the R button takes you right back to this, which is nice. But I cannot find it anywhere in the reference room. I think the only place I haven't checked right now is the dining hall, since I've been back. That in the med bay. See if she knows anything. The heads went to the ruin, but they should be back soon. Heard they haven't been able to open the ruin's entrance. Thank you, Obius Waff, for the follow. Uh-oh, the music changed. Oh, I see. I can hold down R to run. That's Or L to run. That's nice. Well, then. If the heads have gone... There, I think it's something has changed. You on the bridge? Yes! Finally. You know, that's the PS1 adventure game for you. You just gotta talk to absolutely everybody. And, um... That the truth of it. Getting funding is hard. That's right, I do want to see the ruin. Who, me? Yes, me. <laughs> Luca the dolphin is getting paid for this? How, uh, how are they paying him? I thought dolphins were, like, socialists. Do they understand the co- oh, They probably would understand the concept of currency if we introduced them. Luca is an employee. <laughs> Christopher Lloyd looking dead. He, um, got some uranium from some Libyans. Okay, stop.
still nothing in the reference room. Oh, he locked the room since we were there last. Uh, so far, I only know of one dolphin. I don't know if that's enough to form a union. Okay, things are moving slowly. I, I suppose you can't spell union without uni. Who does he look? He looks like, um... Oh god, he looks like somebody and I can't place it. That is a bad joke, Clave. That's correct. Hell of an icebreaker for, um, the captain's daughter. You have a promising future ahead of you in, um, oceaneering. <laughs> Super noises. So our diver friend still isn't in the med bay. I'm going back in the water one more time, and I'm going to try to get to that ruin. Luca's using all of his um, dolphin PTO for us. He's a salaried employee, and we're wasting all of his precious vacation. Oh, color changed. So this is kind of a faux. Faux uh, time progression. Oh yes, that that I know does have um, does point us to the right. Past the meatball. That crosses zero. Yeah, it's true. And this is all before James Cameron's Titanic. I couldn't go this far last time, I don't think. No. Check in first. Maybe there's a C chart back on the... Well, I'm gonna look around. Because I don't think I can progress. After the Abyss! That is a good point, best boy. The Abyss. I, f I can't believe I forgot about that, because I think, on the whole, The Abyss might be my favorite James Cameron movie. Certainly better than Oh god, I don't even want to think or talk or, I don't know, function about Avatar The Way of Water right now, that sounds... Uh, just thinking about that movie makes me exhausted. So... The ruins area has not yet been cleared. I do not think I can... I have, I have interacted with the stone. I will interact with the stone again. There's an arrow pointing right. Can we interact? Can we team up to solve a puzzle? Disney's Atlantis wasn't for a little bit longer yet. That wasn't until, I think, like 2000, 2001. But The Abyss, I bet The Abyss um, was a big influence on it. Well, this is about as far as I'm going to be able to get, I think. In this, we can't... Um, yes, I was actually... Um, <laughs> there was an attempt to make some Twitch emotes um, from those uh, dolphins. But please, um, if, if you do not, I will, from the VODs. Well, that's a very limited look at Blue Legend of Water. 
it's pretty dang cool. Um, it is very much a PS1 adventure game uh, in that it's kind of obtuse. And um, I can't figure out how to progress terribly well in it. But the underwater parts are really cool. I love this dolphin. I love the idea of having a dolphin buddy who does different things. They kind of dressed it up to be like an AI, so you can give it different behaviors, which are really just contexts for um, the things the dolphin can do. But it's very mysterious and relaxing. And um, maybe I'll come back to this. I don't know. Let me see. Let me make at least a save file. Definitely a PS1 adventure game. <laughs> uh, progression is quite obtuse. Well, here's the question. How do I save the game? Do I save the game? for this because I don't know how to save. There is no FAQ for this game. Where? Oh, <laughs> there is. There are two questions on the game FAQs. Okay, you can only save in the map room select screen. Okay, there we go. decide to come back to this, we can come back to this. But in the meantime, we got some other stuff to play. So, thanks for joining us. And, uh, let's see if Twitter's down still. A little bit quiet night here. Get some more folks in if I can. In the meantime, stay posted. We'll be back. <laughs>